What is going on everybody and welcome back to the latest episode of the 5050 Road to Glory on Thief 16. I think we're up to like episode 23 maybe now, maybe 24, but um, in all honesty we're starting off today's episode on a bit of, bit of a bad note because um, this series it's a bit of a uh, bit of a subscriber favourite in my opinion. You all seem to absolutely love it when it goes out that you're always saying in the comments that um, you enjoy it, but there's always a comment or two every video or every other video almost now it's got to the stage where it's um, just criticism and it's out of line and I just think there's something that needs to be done about it now so I'm just gonna and a cave in a lot of people have been requesting this and that I, I don't think it's gonna help the series in particular but um, I think according to what the comments are saying it's just something that needs to be done lads There we go, it's done. The bed has been made, so can you stop saying in the comments to make your bed? It's been done, the bed has been made. Right then, lads, without any further ado, let's get cracking into today's episode. Then, if you do enjoy the episode, still enjoying the series, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it. If you can get it over 20 likes, as always, that will be amazing. And make sure you subscribe to the channel as well, if you are new around here, to become a part of the Ninja Nation. We're really close to a thousand subscribers now, like I mentioned in yesterday's video. So, any support is massively appreciated. And also, suggestions, comments and feedback things to go in the bad pot and the good pot always are appreciated in that comment section down below but as always lads we have to start off the episode by flipping the coin and uh, where is the coin there's the coin right heads or tails that's the question we're gonna go for tails because we didn't last time and we were made to pay the price the coin has been flipped and we have got tails we that was a good decision wasn't it so that means we get to take something out of the good pot for today's episode i think we had a bad pot last time out like so if i remember correctly Give it a bit of a shake up. Like I said, just any suggestions for things to go into these pots, always appreciated. If you're watching at this point, by the way, and haven't got a bloody clue what's going on, there'll also be a link in the description to the players to the series so you can catch it from the beginning and you know exactly what's going on then. But um, this one's jumped out at me, so we'll take this one. And in today's episode, lads, we are going to be doing Lone Any Player. Not the most exciting in the world, but there are a few decent players in the loan uh, in the loan category that we can go and look for so let's go and see who there is and let's see who we're going to be bringing into the squad for a few games lads so lads as many of you will know this club was started up as if we were starting from scratch so i haven't got a high level in the uh, in the foot ea football club whatever it's called so i can't go for like the ronaldo's and the uh, the hazards those kind of people in the uh, in the loan area but we have managed to pick up loan yannick balassi for 13 games which is really decent he'll definitely be a good super sub and maybe even slot into part of the bpl team so balassi is the player that we've loaned and we've got him for 13 games which is like I say pretty decent so lads if you can't remember back to the last episode we played our very first game in division three which we drew which wasn't a bad start division three now we're really starting to get up to the top tiers of uh, of seasons foot seasons but you can see this is the team we're going to be starting off with but last he doesn't really fit in because we haven't got the right formation for him but he is going to go on the bench and he could potentially come on as a super sub but like i said we're going to start off with this team both teams are playing really well all the world last time out anyway because last episode if you remember we had to do a six league hybrid so we didn't get to use them but the time before they were playing incredibly well so um without any more jibber jabber let's jump into the first game and hopefully pick up three points lads Bloody hell, lads. Finally, we've got our first game. Oh, my God. Are you joking me? Are you joking me? Striker Ronaldo in from Bale. Team of the year, Neymar. I mean, I, I, do I need to say anything? Look at the bloody screen. This is ridiculous. It's taken so long to find this game as well. <sighs> this is going to be interesting, lads. Come on, Benteke. Carry on that run. Well played. Can he drop inside? Then out. Oh, my God. This guy's not very good. He might have a world of team, but he's not very good. What a save. Hit it in. Put it in! Yes! 1-0 up after just four minutes. This guy's team may well be the greatest team I've ever seen or come across on Ultimate Team. It's got to cost like millions of coins. And yet we're one up inside four minutes. And I know it's very early, but he just doesn't seem that good. He doesn't seem to be putting uh, much of a foot in. Maybe I'll be proven wrong later in the game, but um one nil up early doors. Isco, what a start. Come on, we'll get that. Come on. Make this 2 0. Make him quit. Come on, put it in there. Put it in there. Surely, Benteke. Oh my god, what a miss. One more. Oh my god, you're in. You're in. Ruben Castro is in. Please put this to bed, Ruben Castro. Near post for Ness. Oh, he's in the post. How is this still only 1 0? Come on, keep on going. Finesse that. Oh, 2 0. What a start to the episode. This has been this guy's team. As I've just mentioned, 
is pure filth. It's ridiculous. Yet in the 45th minute, we are 2 0 up. I think this guy's only had one shot, which wasn't much of an effort anyway. We are absolutely bossing it 2 0 up. Who's popped up with that one? Schneiderlin. My god, this is unreal. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <sighs> what a save, Petacek. This guy's um, turning it up a little bit now, all of a sudden. There it is, lads. Full time in the first game of today's episode, and I am shocked. We pull out a 2 0 win against what is one of the best squads I've ever come across on Ultimate Team, period. That was an incredible team. First half, we absolutely smashed it. Second half, we took our foot off the gas a little bit and concentrated a little bit more on defending. But look at that team. You had Legend Schmeichel, Team of the Year Marcelo, Team of the Year Ramos, 90 Godin, Team of the Year Alves, Infant Krakowiak, Team of the Year Iniesta, Team of the Year Modric, Team of the Year Neymar, Striker Ronaldo and Infum Bale. What a team that is, man. That is crazy that we managed to win that game. We pick up, uh, pick up 546 coins as well. Let's jump into the next game. We're probably going to use the same team. Look at the stats as well, man. We, we actually bossed that game. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Here we go, then, lads. Game two of today's episode. And he's rocking up with a much like in nowhere near as good of a team as the last guy we played against. But I would wager that he's going to be a lot better because that guy just wasn't very good at all, at all considering the team he had as well. This guy, very OP frontliner, Pato Lucas. And Felipe Anderson. It's going to be interesting. Hopefully, we can pick up another three points because we've had a decent start to Division 3, lads. Hopefully, we can keep it up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, God, I'm trying to watch the cut inside and he just didn't great save Petacek. Everything's so sluggish at the moment in this match. It just isn't, uh, isn't quite happening. Space there, though. That's happening. Benteke's across. Oh, has he not won that? We're going to crack it anyway. Oh, my God. Follow up. God. Oh. Benteke should have won that original header, man. Well played. I well, nodded down as well, actually. Go on. Play it to Castro, play it to Castro. Come on, this is a chance, this is a chance. We're going to finesse it near post. Oh, what a save by his keeper. Maybe I should have tried to sweat it. That was a great chance. How's that for calm? We've got a great chance to counter now. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, it's opening up before us. Benteke is open. Drop back. Penalty. He's telling me that's a free kick and not a penalty. Oh my god, it actually is. He's had a man sent off there. Take the positives. I was sure that was a penalty. Oh, no way. Tell you what, Imeric Laporte, you can take this. You've not got bad stats. Come on, Imeric. Oh, he's at the post. So unlucky. Benteke has had a pretty crap first half. So it's time to use the, for the first time our new lone superstar, Yannick Balassi. Get on that pitch, Yannick. Oh my god, surely not instantly. Surely not instantly. Oh my god, pe penalty? Yes, Yannick Balassi comes on and inside one minute, well, just under two minutes, it was just a penalty. That's more than Menteke's done. Instantly, that is crazy. And it's never a penalty in a million years either. He just kicked his defender, basically. Ivanovic is on the penalty for some reason. He can take it. Go left, please, Branny. Oh, no way. Balassi will pick it up, though. Come on, Yannick. Come on, Yannick. Oh, my God, Yannick Balassi. Yannick Balassi's bossing it. 1-0 up, lads. Yannick Balassi. We're only in the 51st minute. He only came on at half-time, and he's absolutely bossed it. He's won a penalty that we missed from the same sequence, really, because he's just cleared the corner. We've then picked it up with him. A nice little bit of skill on the edge, cut inside, and we made it 1-0. Bloody hell, what a beast. Come on, Yannick. Come on. Surely. That's in, isn't it? Oh, just about. What a finish. 2-0. There was a moment of silence there where I saw the keeper come. I knew I was going to chip it, but it looked like it might just clip the post and go out. But thank God, because he brought the keeper out really early. It clips the inside of the post, and we take a 2-0 lead. That should be game set and match. And Yannick Balassi, we're going to be subbing, on, subbing him on a lot more in the future, lads, because he has been sensational. Oh, that football is fantastic. Ruben Castro's and we're going to go for another chip. Oh, it's beautiful. That is beautiful. Measured to absolute precision. The keeper flails a hand at it, but can't quite get there. 3-0. And what a start to Division 3. We've had two wins and a draw, it's looking like. And um, we could well be on the promotion path at this race. Uh, not that one I speak too soon, but what a little dink that was. Nearly as good as Belassi's, but that one was measured a lot more because he had a lot less space to do with him. But 3-0 up. Fantastic stuff, lads. There we go then, lads. That is full time. Unfortunately, we conceded right at the end. Nothing more than a consolation, but it does take away the clean sheet bonus, which is a shame. Could have used the coins, I suppose. But 3-1 um, win, nevertheless. Superb. Balassi coming down at half time. Absolutely changed the game, man. He really did. And uh, 
couple of goals for him and an assist, was it? I don't know, but he at least got a couple of goals. You can see 14 shots to this guy's 10. He wasn't bad by any stretch, but we definitely deserved the winning. You can see we're now on seven points after three games, which isn't too bad. If we can win the final game of today's episode, lads, it'll put us in a great position, not only to stay up, but really to go on and get promoted as well. So uh, let's swap teams over and jump into the final game. If there is anyone that isn't sure, this is the team that we're changing over to. It's the Yamarata and Aubameyang top two combination with Invom Hamsik. Definitely the stronger of the two on paper, but like I said at the start, both teams lately have been playing really well, so hopefully this team can pick up where the other one left off. Here we go then, lads. Last game, what's he rocking up with? It's a pretty nice... Uh, it's, it's an okay BPL team, actually. He's got Sturridge, Oxlade and Lamella leading the line with Widgie, 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 Widgie Aldum in cam. He's got Aaron Ramsey, Fernandinho, Otamendi and company, which is a really solid partnership. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty strong BPL team, but by no means the strongest you can get. So um, this is going to be interesting, lads. Let's hope we can pick up three wins to three. All the way today has been a solid episode. Come on, Pierre. Come on, Pierre. You got the pace. Abameyang's in. Abameyang is in. Crack it across keeper. Follow up. It's got to be. It's got to be. No. He's put it over as if. Get that in back stick. What a ball. Abameyang. Get out. He's offside, isn't he? Yeah, he's offside. God damn it. I knew it. I don't know why I even celebrated. Oh, what a finish. 1-0 up. I was in the zone then, so sorry if I was a bit quiet. We did really, really well, and it's the talisman again. Alvaro Morata that steps up. Right, this is a really close game, and I can hear the bike talking on the mic as well, so it's proper intense at the moment. But 1-0 um, to ourselves. Probably deserved. We've had loads of chances to cut it back. That hasn't quite happened. But Morata ta finally takes a chance, and we take a 1-0 lead, boys. Well played, Pierre. Right ball, finish that, get in, 2-0, two goals in like two or three minutes, that is fantastic play again, uh, Bamiang at the heart of it, not getting the goal but wins it back, takes on a man, plays the ball in behind and it's Rambo Ramirez that slots in that near post finesse that just seems to be so OP at the moment on FIFA, tucks it past the goalkeeper and we take a 2-0 lead, that could be game over now lads, how could we not get a foot in, <sighs> why did I say it was game over, I Oh, I just asked for trouble as soon as I said that. I don't know how we didn't get a foot in before there, but 2-1. Long way to go again now. Look at that. We've got a foot in there, and then he just turns into so much space. Oh, great ball. Come on, he's onside. He's onside. Drill it in. Abameyang, get in. Great goal again. 3-1 up. Really good idea that is, lads, to do if you're playing someone, because this guy's been reading the cut inside quite well, so I did a few step overs, then just didn't cut inside, and sometimes he, he didn't seem to fall for it that badly, actually, but whipped in a great ball, and now uh, Bamiang's there to nod in to make it 3-1. This is end-to-end -end at the moment, lads, and now uh, Bamiang deserves that goal, he's been awesome. Bit of a suicidal pass on this goal, come on, give us this attack. Gonna whip it in again, back stick, surely this should be four. What a finish, 4-1 up. Yeah, Emrika Bamiang is just loving life at the moment. Great ping to the back stick, but my God, he had a lot of work to do. This finish, holy moly. No keeper on the game is stopping that. 4-1 up before it's even half-time. We are playing well at the moment, lads. There we are then, lads. That is full-time in the third and final game. What an episode, man. We picked up three wins out of three, playing really nice football in Division 3 as well. This game was very similar to the first one in the fact that we were quite comfortable at half-time, then just not a lot seemed to happen in the second half. But that first team that we played was incredible, that team of the airfield team. Second goal was a bit better, but still we seemed to quite comfortably win it. And again, this guy, pretty nice team. Arguably not as strong as ours, but we still saw him swept him to one side, sorry, so I'm trying to say very, very easily, and that means we picked up 10 points, I think so far in Division 3, 531 coins, you can see the stats, look, we had 11 shots to this guy's 6, absolutely bossing it, like I've already mentioned, but yeah, 10 points I only need a couple more to stay up, which is nice, but we've got 6 games left to pick up 3 wins, basically to um, get into Division 2, which is pretty incredible achievement, really, for this series so, um, like I said at the start, anyway, lads if you do enjoy this series, still enjoy the video, make sure to leave a big thumbs up in it, and I will speak to you all in tomorrow's video, which hopefully I'll have time to finish, which I'm planning on being a squad builder. So hopefully I'll speak to you all there, lads. Have a good night. Nidge out.
Yo, he's niche plays with big games and player views are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free, it costs nothing. Peace.